Welcome back everyone to Psychology On Demand and this series is all about attachment and today is going to be specifically about attachment and love. So adult romantic love. So today I'll be pulling from sources from Bowlby, Sternberg and a little bit from um, kind of CBT work as well. So um, today uh, we're going to be looking at how these, um, these attachment styles from early childhood can play out into adulthood. So um, I'm also going to be using a 20 year study that I'm going to post below. Um, so if you want to click on that and just see how these styles can change over time. So the general um, approach uh, to attachment is that there's four core styles. Now you can see my video, um, which attachment style of you are you to see all the different ones. Um, and the core ones that the, the main literature uses are anxious, ambivalent, so anxious of being let go from attachment figure and ambivalent to their, their attempts to soothe, so not being, not being soothed very easily. Then we've got avoidant, which is pushing the um, person away, so not accepting love. And then we've got secure, which is the ability to soothe our own emotions, get closer emotional ties, and believe that we're enough to be loved and that others are loving care, that there are other loving, caring people around. So we have these three core styles. Now the research, so Sternberg did his theory of love, um, and we've also got the paper below, shows that these styles can carry on and there's a significant uh, similarity between the style you have as, ch as a child and your adult style. So there's something here that's carrying on. So the models and frameworks that we use in childhood stay. Now Sternberg argued that these um, can be worked on in the current. So these are models and frameworks that stay with us through, through life and that we're always changing and adding and, and, and using these models. Whereas he argued Freudian psycho, uh, psychodynamic theory suggested more that we regress. So it was a constant revisiting of the past Whereas Bowlby, very similar to CBT, suggesting these models that are, that are forged in childhood, but they're, they're all constantly changing and moving. So in adulthood, we're following these similar styles. So are we, have we got a positive framework of others? Um, so often avoidants believe their needs can't be met. Anxious often feel that they're not good enough to be soothed, not good enough for the love and affection of others. And what they find is that there are these, these common kind of styles that play out um, within the attachment styles. So styles of seeing, seeing love as um, unattainable, as this perfect thing. So in avoidant, often um, seeing, seeing love as having this perfect person. And therefore, we never really have to get close to them because they never meet this perfect person. Also in avoidant, there is um, dismissal of the importance of needing others and the importance of keeping our own dependency. So um, keeping independence. And in anxious attachment, there's often this falling in love very quickly. So falling in love, but never feeling like they ever get it reciprocated. And in secure, what we've got is these balanced relationships where we go in, we say how we feel, we recognise love and, and relationships are important um, and the need for interdependency, so reliance on each other, and the ability to communicate emotions and work with others. That's where the secured place is. So the studies show that you can change, and several did change in the long-term 20-year study. They changed from avoidant or anxious into secure. Now, interestingly, it was actually more anxious people that changed and less avoidant people. And they did actually find that one secure person turned avoidant through trauma. So we've got things that can shake and change our belief systems in PTSD traumas. So this is a, just an introduction to the similarities between uh, child attachment and adult attachment. They are both the same system, but adult attachment, there is equal power, and there is, of course, a sexual element that comes in. 
So this is how they change, but they both have an underlying attachment process playing out that is the same one that was there for our survival. So this is why falling in love is such a strong bond and is something that links us so, um, so much to someone else. So this has just been a brief overview into how Sternberg, in his theory of love, linked to the two processes, how Bowlby linked the two processes, um, and how this 20-year study, which is just below, also investigated love throughout, throughout the lifespan. So if you'd like to know any more, please do check out the links below. I've also got a link to um, Sternberg's Theory of Love book, which is excellent, which is below. Um, and yeah, if you want to know any more, please do just ask questions below. I'm happy to do more videos, answer any questions. And if there's anything you want to add to what I've said, or maybe I've, I've misspoken on anything, just add it below and I'll, I'll add and update the theory as we go along. Okay, thank you for your time. Catch you later. Bye.